Okay, um, we have a 2012 Ford Focus, and we recently replaced the halogen lamps with LEDs. The high beam was not a problem. Um, we we did order a a high beam uh, LED and had the fan on it. Um, and it would not fit. Uh, so, um, had to return that. Then I actually pulled out the high beam light because Amazon said it was compatible with our, our 2012 Focus. Well, I guess Amazon's check is not perfect. They make mistakes. Um... The seller says it is, but it's not. And so we now, I have now learned that I cannot trust Amazon's uh, guarantee that when you get the message, oh yeah, this fits your your 12, 2012 Ford Focus and you've put all the details on your, your car and everything and it says it'll fit. Well, that's not true. So we had to send back that we got. I, I, I then pulled out the high beam uh halogen light and sure enough it looked totally different totally different than than any than any product that amazon was selling so i finally found the correct part on amazon that looked a i perfectly identical and it worked perfect so we didn't have any problem with that so then we ordered the led low beam and this was a you know it was the same same look and same for all the all the brands, all the different brands, and so we bought one, and for some reason it got real hot and it would work and everything. We returned it and bought another one. Well, that didn't work either. And what we found out was is that after it was working for a day or two, and then it quit working, we get this message. I'll show you what the message. I'm going to turn on the car. Okay. This is the message we get. Come on, Ford. All right. Show my starts recording. We get a dipped beam bulb fault. Okay. What is a dipped beam bulb? Well, a dipped beam bulb, first of all, that is... Show my stops recording. That is a name. That's a European name. You're, I have no idea why... The Brits came up, the, why they, they were allowed to call the halogen lights dipped, beam, beam, dip bulb, beam, whatever it is. But what it is, it's a halogen lamp with the end of the bulb that has a kind of a, mm, I would say a, um, oh, it's uh, kind of, it's, it's kind of got a coating on it on the very, very, very end. And by the way, these halogen lamps get really, really freaking hot. I mean, you know, within seconds, they are they are really hot. So uh, we like the LED because of the white light. So anyway, so we, we put in these LEDs and we get this fault. And of course, the lights will not, not come on uh, in, in manually or with it automatically. So... So I found out that <clears throat> there's a, a free uh, app, app if, if you've got a proper OBD2 uh, device and there's a free program, I'm sorry, a Windows program, it's called Focus, F-O-C-C-C-U-S. And man, that thing is amazing. I mean, it is amazing what you can do with that. Well, I was able to get the lights to, to work in automatic. Uh, and matter of fact, I even turned on the feature where daytime running lights. So the low beams, see the low beams are the, are the dip bulbs and they're the problems, not the high beam is the low beam. So I was able to turn on uh, uh, daylight uh, running lights and the low beams would stay on all the time when, when, you, when you put the key in the car and, that, and you start the car and you run the car. That's exactly what I wanted. But we still get this error message. Um, so I was able to program to get it to work. 
even though it won't work on manually. If for some reason it has to be on automatic, if I put it on manual, um, if it's if it's dark, it will work. But uh, for some reason, if it's daytime, it won't work. I, I don't I don't I don't get that. So anyway, uh, maybe I'm wrong. But um, but we still get this this message. Well, I I, I contacted the manufacturer of these old these uh, LED lights that we purchased. And they sent us, they call this a, um, what was the name? A decoder. <laughs> they called this a decoder. And they said, we'll send, we'll send you two of them for free, which they did. They sent them two of them for free. Well, they don't know I'm an electrical engineer <laughs> with a master's degree. That is, this is just a resistor. That's all that is. It is a 50 watt, six ohm resistor. And it's a nice cable, very, very, very nice cable. Um, you know, plugs into your LED and plugs into the existing slot. And this is supposed to get rid of your error message on your dashboards. It, Ford has really put in some stupid, stupid, stupid stuff in their cars. And this is one of them where they think the computer needs to know everything that's going on, which is ridiculous. So. I'm going to try this. I'm going to put these in right now, and I'm going to pause the video, and then we're going to see if this works. Uh, I'm pretty sure it will. I'm real confident it will. I've seen other solutions. I've seen Relay, where you wire the power from, I forget what they called, little bitty teeny weeny itsy bitty little um, amber lights on the corner, you know, which are always on. Uh, uh, anyway, I don't like that solution. And then there's there's some other bad, bad solutions, you know, of all of this cable and this, you know, gizmo and everything. So anyway, they sent me this. Um, they call this a decoder. Well, it's not a decoder. It's a resistor. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. We're going to see if this works. And stay tuned. I'm going to pause this. Okay, I learned my lesson. Uh, don't use the resistors. Uh, they call them a decoder, but they're not. They're resistors. They, man, I tell you, one light worked, the other did not, and the resistor got so freaking hot. Uh, and it got hot on the one that was working. So, I mean, it was, it was, it 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 was a fire hazard, uh, and you couldn't even touch it. It was that it was just burning hot. Uh, so I give up. Uh, I'm not gonna definitely not gonna use this resistor uh, method. Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, they call it a decoder, and so if the lights work, uh, they're working now. But you know, I need to see if I didn't do any damage to the LEDs, which I hope I didn't. Uh, if they work for the next couple days, I'll try to post this on Amazon. Um, my recommendation now is you either do what I did, go uh, download that program, find a module that will work, the ELM modules work. Um, plug it in, learn how to use it, reprogram your car. Uh, there's some information on YouTube on how to do that. Uh, there's just a couple settings. Actually, there's only two settings. Uh, that you need to change. Uh, you change the uh, um, you change the headlight type from halogen to HID. I think one guy on YouTube said use HID alternative. Another guy said it doesn't make doesn't make any difference. They're both the same. And then the other one was uh, turn on daylight running lights, uh, day uh, daytime running lights DRL to always, and so your low beams will always always be on which is pretty cool. Um, and you can turn on the high beams if you want manually. Uh, but I have not gotten the... Um, where the key is out of the car, and I turn the, the light control switch to manual. I cannot get... Okay, I can get the parking lights to come on uh but i cannot get the headlights to come on the headlights will not come on now in automatic they will come on if i put the key in 
uh, and turn it on to the on position or the start position or the run position, uh, the, the the low beams will, will always be on, which is really, really nice, real cool. And so that's what we're going to have to settle with. We're going to settle with just leaving our car in automatic uh, lighting mode uh, as far as the headlights are concerned. Uh, of course, we had to do the reprogramming to change the two things, and uh, that's the only way right now that we can get these LED lights to work on this 2012 Ford Focus. There, I know there's other solutions, uh, but uh, the seller uh, who sold these uh, lights, um, they don't know what they're doing. They have no clue, you know. Yes, they were nice enough to ship me this stuff, for uh, the resistors for free. But, you know, I mean, really could have caught, it really could have caught, caught, caused an electrical, electrical fire. Uh, and it would definitely would have uh, ruined uh, the headlights, uh, the bulbs and the headlights. I mean, that resistor got so freaking hot. And there were no instructions that came with it. So, you know, be, be, be cautious. Uh, uh, just warning warning you um don't do the resistor uh they call it a decoder but it's, they're just resistors don't do that um the relay method i really don't want to you know put that in that i you know it's just uh, you, know, you put a relay in for each side and and it's just not worth the hassle um i'm really fed up you know with it, it this is a lot a lot of this is ford's fault but uh, you know Ford, they put put in all this crap in their car and, and cars and, and and things don't work. Um, whereas other cars, no problem. Just you know, put an LED light and works just fine. Uh, the other fault lies with Amazon. You know, they say yes, yeah, compatible for a 2012 Ford Focus. It's not okay. Third fault lies with uh, the manufacturer of the LED bulbs. Um, you know, they're saying. Oh yeah, yeah, it works. You know, it's, it fits into your car. It works, and no, it's not true. They haven't verified that. They haven't tested that. They just, you know, they just know it fits. They know it plugs in, you know, but they don't know if it works. So I'm a little bit upset with all three: Ford, Amazon, and and the seller of these LED lights. Which, yes, it fits into the Ford Focus, but they don't work. So good luck.